Most people with forward head posture think that their main problem is that they have overactive neck muscles, specifically their sternocleidomastoid or SCM muscle. So they end up doing a bunch of exercises like chin tucks with very little success because they're addressing the symptom, which is the tight muscle, not the actual root cause. See, forward head posture is a strategy to manage our airway and create a better strategy to breathe. Under normal circumstances, the ribcage should be this fluid, adaptable structure capable of shape change. When we inhale, we should get circumferential expansion in all directions. When we exhale, it should compress in all directions. But if over time the ribcage becomes very stiff for a variety of different habitual lifestyle and training considerations, then all of a sudden the mechanics flip a little bit. Typically the SCM should be an accessory muscle of inhalation, meaning that it helps create elevation of the ribcage. But if the ribcage becomes very rigid, then the attachment down here becomes very stiff and unable to move, and we can't really pivot from there. So instead, when this muscle contracts, it actually pulls on this attachment on the base of the skull, which pulls the head forward. This is the new problem as that muscle tries to work in overdrive to help us breathe. And this is what creates that forward head posture because the muscle is pivoting and acting from here rather than helping in some circumstances to elevate the rib cage. So to downregulate tension and improve mechanics of the SCM muscle, we wanna help create better expansion on the front upper side of the rib cage in particular. Here's an easy way you can start to do that. Lay on your back with your feet up on a chair so that way you have a rounded 90 degree bend of both your knees and your hips. Get a rolled up hand towel and place it underneath the base of your neck so that way your chin can nice and passively be pointed directly at the ceiling at all times. Now this is optional, but very helpful. I recommend it. You wanna grab two objects about the width of a foam roller or just two foam rollers because you're going to get your elbow directly at the height of your shoulder like this on both sides and you want your forearms to drop down onto something like this. This will make it so that way you have very little tension in your body. If they weren't there, you might feel a huge stretch in your chest and back and you might have to flare your rib cage like this to get there. We don't want that. So first check in with yourself and make sure you have as little tension in your body as you possibly can have because we wanna keep the neck disengaged. Exhale very gently through your mouth for about five to 10 seconds with a relaxed jaw like this. At the end of that exhale, you're gonna feel a tiny bit of your side abs, your oblique muscles engage. You're gonna pause, close your mouth, put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. And then you're going to inhale through your nose, not using your neck at all, keeping your chin passively pointed at the ceiling, gently for about five seconds. And you're gonna feel your chest expand. If you do it right, you wanna maintain just the slightest bit of tension in your side abs. This will make it so that way you don't just expand your belly, but you'll get that upper chest expansion that we're looking for here. So full breath looks like this. Do this for about two to three sets of 10 breaths.